Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. Ten people are dead following the tragic collapse of a canyon rock face on top of boats visiting a waterfall in southeastern Brazil on Saturday. According to authorities, a tower of rocks suddenly broke away from the canyon wall and came crashing down, crushing one of the leisure boats. Four vessels were affected at the time of the rock's collapse, and two vessels were directly impacted. The collapse also injured some 30 tourists hit by the falling rocks. The region experienced heavy rainfall for two weeks, which experts believe could have loosened the rock face. At least 22 tourists, including 10 children, have died in freezing temperatures in northern Pakistan after being stranded in their vehicles as thousands flock to enjoy the snow. According to the country's interior minister, more than a meter of snow fell in the area of the Murray Hills Resort overnight Friday and early Saturday, trapping thousands of cars on roadways. Army platoons and paramilitary forces have been deployed to the area to help with rescue operations. A helicopter service will soon be started, but the weather is not good right now. As soon as the weather gets better, we'll start a helicopter service to rescue any people stranded in the powerful jungles, God willing. The snowfall began last Tuesday night and continued at regular intervals, attracting thousands of tourists. However, due to the huge number of visitors, many vehicles ended up getting stranded on roads. Local media reports over 100,000 cars entered the area during this time. The 6.9 magnitude earthquake that struck China's northwest province of Qinghai on Saturday has resulted in no reported casualties so far. However, nine people have sustained injuries, with eight of them already being discharged from hospital. Local authorities say the earthquake affected nearly 6,000 people in the province, with 65 people from 16 households whose homes were damaged being relocated. A total of 217 houses were seriously damaged in the quake, as parts of local roads, bridges and water pipelines were also damaged. The neighboring Gansu province has also activated a level 3 emergency response after several village houses affected by the earthquake reported cracks on walls. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.